Hi guys. So this time we are doing something exciting. It's gonna haraka kidogo, so I'll be first. We are going somewhere. It's a surprise, guys. It's a surprise for you, not for us, because we already know. So we are going with another couple, our couple friends, with Joneshani. To ready to Nayenda. It's a surprise, so you guys watch her to to get into our ride. It's on a loop. It's on a loop. Safi. I love you. Ah, I'm back So guys, to be sharp at a ride here too. Come see us later. Wasili. Wasili. Come out go around. Cases, in cases. If you are around cases, use Wasili cups. The cups. Yes. So you don't try to me. So it's gonna me be perf. Now we. Madara, <laughs> <laughs> yes, so guys, that's the end. To me, it's a surprise. So, to announce what we are going to do to Kifika. So, this is two couples me and Gashora, Suzy and Madara. It's also to Nawana. All of us, eh, Nani Wanaza, this is Yaman. Nani Madara, this is Nani Wanaza. Yes. We are also very serious, only younger. Yes. Only younger. <laughs> so this is done well in this How old are you? <laughs> She's 22. I am 21. So I think yes. New experience with a viewer. Ukweli. Hey, I'm the eldest man. I'm the eldest man. Madara and Asema have an experience. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Roy, I'm telling your story. Eh? Eh, Roy is old. You better run, eh? You should run well when you retire, isn't it? Ama, ne kwa ngaji eh? Well, you should have walked. Anyway, guys, I hope we are fun enough for you to keep watching. Get to end up. Take a few photos and a few quick clips. He plays me Rambo, my goodness. And if you, me, 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 I'm, I am visiting. The rest are when, when Gina ni wenyeji. That's why I don't know a lot of names. Awa ni wenyeji. Awa ni wenyeji na na mepu donganga video guy. I know your names. No, I know your name, guys. Maybe to see you in other places. Barabara ni kabara. Eh, sasa ni kabaya. Oh, eh, apa sawa ni sahile barabara. Maya tu chome ni area. And then, guys, what is our nyesha? So we are going somewhere which is still a surprise. So nyesha tukifika.
so guys to befika we are at the name of this place yeah yeah to take up a picture i don't know that name it's an indian restaurant in uh, where is, what's the name of this place in eh sema elgon view it's an indian restaurant yeah. nikama place i'm say so it's very quiet and beautiful lipurevo yeah and the food is <coughs> affordable very affordable isn't it <laughs> i think so yeah and it work on a lot of good stuff so leo we will be featuring <laughs> Keeping, keeping up, up with the madaras <laughs> so these guys are majui so at least you know us from our previous video so tunataka kujua their story they have they have been together for four years hey they, they are now on role models for us so we will be hearing their story as we wait for the food yeah. so guys najua hamunioni but this is what off the camera for this part Eh uh, so Bonnie will be asking <laughs> them the questions dio to get to know them. I don't want to be the one talking about it so that we balance the talking kila mtu afate a chance to say something. Mm-hmm. Yes, so we can start. Okay. The very first question. Yeah. So you say you've been dating from 2018. It's your fourth year now. Yeah. The first question is how you guys met. Ah. Uh, first of all, <coughs> my grandmother and this is my girlfriend. She's she's the, she's, she's the love of my life. Eh, eh, eh. We met in August. We met in 2018, that's 2018 I was I was during a long holiday I was in Nakuru, I was working somewhere and we just happened to meet there. So when I saw her, I just knew she was totally different. She gonna change my life. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I remember the first time I saw her. I think it was one of the most epic moments of my life and ever since my life has never been the same. So I approached her. Yeah, we started talking just for conversation. She was so tough to <laughs> had yeah, to get. Know, yeah, she was hard to get, yeah. But we we dated like it was like three months. Was it three three to four months between April and August. Yeah, before the, then uh, by the end, uh, almost the end of August that's when we started dating. I remember very clearly it was 26 August two days to my birthday and ever since that day my life has never been the same. Ama. Ama the testimony is not the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another question. Uh-huh. How did you know she was the right one for you? How I knew she was the right one for me. And how she knew you were the right yeah. guy yeah. for her? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so how how did you know I was the right guy for you? Like the guy? Mm, actually I was never into this guy. Why? 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 <laughs> when when we were, you know, getting to know each other, uh-huh. he was like, you know, I'm interested in you, blah blah blah. But I never had interest in him. But then as time went by, I actually it was it was after his long holiday was over. Mm-hmm. and he was planning to go back to school that's when i felt some emptiness mm. and i kind of realized that i had fallen for him oh yeah and the, and the, the the most interesting thing about him is that he was always there you know despite me rejecting him and such like he always stood by me and oh. he gave me his full trust you know something that doesn't easily come by you know they say trust is earned yeah yeah so he earned my trust and i earned his he was always there for me so it kind of it kind of carried me away and mm. i came to realize that i had a thing for him yeah that's it oh yeah for me beautiful for you <laughs> yeah for me the only th- the only thing yeah she she was gorgeous she, she had everything that i believe in in for an ideal woman yeah yeah like i always follow my instincts and every time i used to see her mm-hmm. i always used to feel different motivated inspired she like she gave me this sense that i have to achieve a lot of things in life if i have to get her and like i used to see how she used to interact with people how she used to listen to me and be able to want to carry herself around then i realized she was different she she was someone if you, if she chooses you then it's you she was like she had that honor in her then she was so I, I, she was so stubborn excuse me <laughs> <laughs> then she had you see those principles you know yeah, yeah. So then she respected me. So having those three things in one person. Yeah. 
gave me a grant to know that I was not going to go for the other woman as long as I had her. Yeah. So that's yes. how she was the one for you. Yeah. Mm. So you've had previous dates, and yeah. we'd like to know how, about your first one. How was it? <laughs> and so, how was yeah, the experience? The first date, I I can never remember that day. I remember those days we were nothing. I was a broke. <laughs> but, but yes, broke as nigger. Yeah, broke as nigger. You know me. You know my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was also just out of school. She was waiting to go to college. Yeah. So we were, we were just picking up, and that's one of the things that I love her because. She, she knew me when I was no one, and she stood by me that time. Mm. So even her first date was not expensive. Yeah. But you took to the Fanya Kazi in Danganya. I had an issue that I'm um, sick forever, something like that. Then mm. in the afternoon, I sneaked away. So oh. I was in the Glanis restaurant in Nakuru. Mm. Yeah. I remember when the clothes she was wearing. So they're wearing a, a pink. Was it pink? Red and white. Yeah, red, red, yeah, red and white. Dress. Not a dress. Huh. Those, you, see, you see those women's suits. Oh. Yeah, but in women, virtual will come to the Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you have a vitamin. Proteins, yeah. bodybuilding yeah. foods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you've obviously said about a lot of things you love about her. Yeah. And she has also said a couple of things she yeah. likes about you. But what is that one thing that drove you? Towards her. Towards her. That one thing. Just one thing. One thing. Yes. One thing. The one ca- that carries the most weight. Yes. One that carries the most weight. Yes. yes. Principles. Principles. She's a very principled woman. And to find that in modern women, it's very rare. Eh. <laughs> yeah. How about Suzy? Uh, one outstanding thing about mm. him is his efforts. Mm-hmm. You normally see that the level of effort of someone shows the, the interest of that person to you. Yeah, yeah. So his effort is just on another level. That's yeah. all I can say. He got Champions League. Yeah. It's <laughs> he outdoes himself all the time. Yeah. And how did he ask you to be his girlfriend? Actually, he took me out on a date. Yes. Mm-hmm. Back in Nakuru. He mm. even gave me a promissory ring. Uh, babe. Hey, do you have it on you? Uh, actually, <laughs> like, yeah, she has a little sister. Oh, like, she took it. Yeah, oh. she's given me so many drinks. Oh. <laughs> Never gets tired of giving me drinks. Wow. Even the ones that I have, mm. they're all cut off of him. Mm-hmm. So he gave me a promissory ring and asked me to be his girl, mm. and I accepted. Oh, yeah. I danced that night. Hey. I can't forget. <laughs> So guys, we've had to change the location because we're having food. Yeah, we want the questions about presents and Madara said they've obviously received presents from each other. <laughs> but we're asking them about the very best they have got for from mm-hmm. each other. Sneakers. I still have them until this day. Does. Dress sneakers and the way she presented them, I was not expecting. Was it my birthday? Was it a gift? Birthday gift? No. Was just for the big. Yeah. <laughs> she had a friend call me and that's me. She didn't know my size. Oh. I didn't know that wow. one. So the friend is ten. No. So he asked me, what shoe number do you wear? I didn't even suspect. So when we met in Nakuru town, she gave me the gift. And I was like, damn, man. Damn. Wow. I felt so good. <laughs> yeah. I still have them in my closet. How about Suzy? Um, actually, I've received a couple of gifts from him, but yeah. I think the most outstanding one was a bouquet of flowers and some chocolate. Babe! <laughs> <laughs> actually, we were having a disagreement, and then he kind of surprised me and brought me a um, bouquet of flowers that was so nice. Mm. Yeah. Aww. Oh, that's great. So, you've mentioned arguments, uh, uh, disagreements, <laughs> yeah, sure. in the next question. Is you know a lot of people think you Madara said that starting a relationship isn't hard. The hard part is about maintaining it, mm-hmm. and there are obviously downs and ups in yeah. relationships. And what matters is how you deal with them. So the next question is how you deal with small arguments. Yeah, 
or even big ones. Or even big ones, <laughs> yeah. Even big ones, yeah. It, uh, it's not that the relationship is so perfect. We've heard that which is true, but mm. the best thing to do, I think, is just maturity. And the first thing I would do with them, accepting a mistake, I messed up. Then uh, apolo- you apologize sincerely. Yeah. Then, then like we talk, we talk. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't have that ego like like my my girlfriend doesn't want to talk to me, so I, I go to talk to her. I let her come down, then we talk. I call her or I make an effort to find her. Then when we meet, she doesn't turn me away. Don't don't no no don't come no. We just talk, sit down. Then I talk. Then she talks. Then we say let's do this. Then we solve. Okay. Are you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's here, Susie's side. Yeah. The side of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> so just like I can see, you can't solve an issue if you're not talking. So communication is the key. And you know, it's not about him being right or me being right. You know, if I try to prove that I'm the one who's in the right, and I won't get disappointed, you get. So we just listen to each other. We communicate, and then we see where we went from. We accept our mistakes if I'm the one who's in the wrong, and if he's the one who's in the wrong, and then we we come up with solutions. How are we going to rectify? What are we going to do best? Where are we not going right? You get. Yeah, that's how we solve our issues, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone who is bossy amongst you? Yeah. Who is bossy? <laughs> she likes harassing me. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call it. It's bossy. I just think it's. She like. She likes being, being the baby girl. Yeah, she likes being a baby girl. <laughs> yeah. And for me, you, you see, people say that a yeah, man should be tough. I don't have a. I, when it comes to love and relationships, I don't have an ego because I know how much. She she takes care well because when you're okay, my mental health is hundred percent okay, and my mental health is everything for me. So that's why I always calm down. I don't have an ego. She doesn't either. She just she just wants to be the baby guy. <laughs> I actually don't try. I don't try changing him. I just try to make him a better person. I guess. Wow. Hmm. She understands me even more than my own mother. And wow. she knows my weaknesses, <laughs> all of them. Yeah. And she always tries to see the best in me, despite all whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done with school? The next question. Yeah. That's for. It's for both of you. It's for both of you, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm done with school, but I'm still in school. Like you know, like I'm a college student right now. Must doing masters. Yeah. In. In the faculty of journalism, communication studies. Communication studies. Yeah. So this. I'm still in school. Taking education arts, English literature. Mm. So you're both teachers. Yeah. Yes. Go but ahead. now a teacher journalist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. What's your view on sex before marriage? The view. The view is, uh, I want to try to be as open-minded as possible. Sex is just sex. And I believe relationships go beyond. We don't date for sex. Because if we're dating for sex, we'll have options. But we date for something more than just sex. Yes. So it doesn't matter if it's before or after marriage. The feelings the same. Even if it's five minutes, whatever. <laughs> it's just the same, yeah. So as long as what you do whatever makes you happy, that's what matters the most. Happiness. For me, I think you say biblical is wrong. Mm-hmm. It's wrong to have, you know, yeah. sex before marriage. Yeah. But let's say it spices up relationships. Yes. Mm. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> okay. How did you have you introduced each other to your parents? Yeah, for me I, I say parent because I don't have my dad right now. But yeah, I she knows my mom. Sorry for your loss. She knows my family, yeah. Uh, Everybody, and she's she's official at home because I don't know she at the end of Kobado, mm. but they they normally to communicate with my mom, my brother, yeah. Okay. So this side, <laughs> I haven't introduced him officially yet, but he knows my sister and my brother. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are your future marriage plans? Marriage plans. Yeah, wedding. <laughs> wedding. When? When? Eh? 
And you plan to get it? We plan to. We don't know that because she's still in school, you know. Oh yeah. yeah. So after school. After school, school yeah. Mm-hmm. But we're saving up. Yeah. We're saving for wedding. For real? Wow. Yeah. Wow. What's your budget? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> you can't just be saving up without a plan, <laughs> Emma. Just, just throwing money in it. Yeah, we just it's just this 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 grant is for our wedding, so we just oh. send it there. When it's time, then I, I think we'll figure out how much. So you, I, I wanted I just want uh, I want it to be official, not something like come this day. Mm. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I want something official. So, so that you have a wedding fund. Yeah, exactly. No loans for the wedding. <laughs> Okay. Your plans on getting kids? I wanted one. Madara <laughs> Junior. <laughs> <sister me too. laughs> you did? I one. wanted just one kid. One kid? Yeah, one. Only. Yeah. This one wants four. But I. Then he will only get a fight. What? I have to put my guy in. I need to have one kid. One. Yeah, she wanted one. But we, she insisted we need to have two. So I that's said, if weird. it makes you happy, then I can have the new sides. So <laughs> having one kid, that kid is going to be spoiled. Spoiled. Very spoiled. So, point. Like very spoiled. Mm. so we need two. to we need to have two kids. At least the balance equation. Yeah. So they are plus two. Not brother. so many. Not so many kids <laughs> that we, we we won't be able to provide. Like we we always have this vision that we can have go on a family trip in a small car. <laughs> Not a big car. Yeah, you don't want a lorry. It's a long car. It's a long car. Do you have a book you've read, both of you? No, no. Okay. You guys don't read. We need to introduce them. Yeah. I do like she doesn't. That's the problem. She didn't. Now he does. Oh, Even though yeah. I'm a one book over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Who is more trusting? Most you. More trusting. Mm. When you had doubt, doubt. As in the one who trusts the other more. Yeah. I'm no, the, the one, one who trusted. No, 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 no. Who the one who trusts the other no. easily? The other. Mm. I think I do. Yeah, she does. Wow. In fact, I, when we started eating, I used to be so insecure. Ah. It's over here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the secure idea, but she eventually changed me. So mm. she does. Who is more of a risk taker amongst you? Who takes risks? Mm-hmm. I think I do. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do take a lot of risks. Was kidding. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I do. Is there anything you will change about each other? The only thing I will change about each other. Ah, uh, Susan has one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anything does it anything. matter? Anything. anything. Yeah, she likes sulking sometimes. So I, that's the only thing I will change. She likes. Sometimes we are just even she sulks. She just doesn't want to talk. Mood swings. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only thing. But the rest she's, she's fine. Yeah, but she's but yeah, she's the most important girl. Wow. Suzy? Yeah, there's one thing I'd change about him, and that is his recklessness. <laughs> I don't normally complain about him a lot. He's very reckless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I if I would, I would change that. I will definitely. Sorry. I will change. Change. <laughs> See. <So, laughs> on your first date, what's the very first thing you noticed about each other, or the very first time you, you met? met? Yeah. The first time we met. The, yeah. the, the thing I noticed about each other. Yeah. A smile. Smile to one. As for me, I noticed his calmness. Ah. He's just a machine to. Is he, is he still calm <laughs> right yeah, now? I guess, yeah. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. So you've obviously come a long way in your relationship. And. It's not easy for a lot of people at our age. Four years, it's and a not big only deal. at our age, but yeah. it's not easy for anyone. Yeah. What is your idea of a healthy relationship? Healthy what relationship. keeps it going? Yeah. I think it's just talking. But no matter how bad the situation is, just talk, then no lies. Yes. Communication. Communication. Mm-hmm. Lying. Then respect. 
if you can have those three things, I think you can survive anything. Yeah. Yeah, for the deficit, they will be trust. Mm. Yeah, and it takes think. a lot of tolerance yeah. and understanding. Yeah. Okay. So, are we done? Mm. One last very important <laughs> question for Madara. Mm-hmm. Oh, who's the prettiest girl in the world? <laughs> the prettiest girl in the, the world. world. Yeah, not just here, the whole world. Yes. In the world. Yes. Are we talking about my crush or whatever? I think she's the prettiest. Ah. <laughs> 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 you are the guy in you. Yeah, you can ask her. There's a moment she pisses me so like I just I just want to catch her and scratch her. Yeah. But the moment I hear I just I'm moving in Asia. I'm moving in Asia and happy is then I just become naturally happy. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, so you know that smile, that beauty, the looks, you see. It just comes your heart. Yeah, it appeals me. It comes hey. me down when I'm lost. Sawa mm. sawa. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much guys for agreeing to this vlog and coming with us thank you so much okay. we'll be having a lot of this with you this is not the first and it's not the last the hopefully we'll, 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 be, we'll go on vacation with them as well yes yeah, yeah. like yeah. we are in <laughs> we are in yes whenever you plan just tell us to takuja yeah. at a coast to nine the coast if you if you guys this want year. in november Yes. <laughs> Towards wow. the end. Mm-hmm. Still open next year. Yes. And the next year. Mm-hmm. But that Vashawad we can absolutely come. Yes. Alright. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us.